Let me tell you, I am old. Like, so old. And in the years I have spent watching YouTube, there have been many videos that I have left feeling very confused. However, it is a rare find that I finish a video both crying and throwing up. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about an entire channel that has managed to give me more trauma in a few minutes than what I have felt the entire year. Yeah. Y'all are ready for a ride with this one. So today I'm going to be talking about So Young. So Young is a Korean YouTuber that makes mukbang videos. And if you guys haven't heard of mukbang before, it's basically just people eating on camera. Usually people make mukbang videos with things like McDonald's, fried chicken, or at least food where the animal it's made out of is no longer breathing. Well, well, well. You can imagine the shock that I felt when I stumbled across So Young's channel as in her videos, she eats octopus and squid, but the animals that she eats are literally still alive. Take a look at this, you guys. Although do be aware that the videos I show you in today's video may be upsetting to some of y'all, so if you are sensitive to animal cruelty, this one is not for you, babes. <laughs> I swear, no one show the vegan teacher this. She would actually start World War III if she got her hands on this channel. But seriously, this channel freaks me out so much. During a typical So Young video, you can expect her at the dinner table with all sorts of live animals, usually seafood, which she prepares. But like, I don't even know if you could call it that since in some videos, she just takes an entire live squid and sticks the whole thing in her mouth. No, because I really cannot take much more of this. So Young has actually had her channel for a really long time. In fact, she's only been running her channel since 2018, and yet in those tiny three years, she has gained a huge amount of followers. Right now, she's nearly at 7 million subscribers on her channel. You know, maybe I should start eating on my channel if it gets that many people interested. Although you guys, it has only been a short amount of time since So Young has been considered problematic. See, y'all, in Korea, where So Young is from, it's seriously normalized to eat things like squid or octopus. Also, I do not want this video to look like I'm coming for this girl's culture because, y'all, it isn't what she's eating that is the problem. The thing that gets me upset is that she is seen to kind of, like fight with the live animals until she kills and eats them. But anyways, as I was saying, in Korea, eating the same stuff that you'll see in a So Young video is completely normal. So when her channel started, there didn't seem to be an obvious problem with her channel. However, when So Young's channel started to spread to different audiences and different cultures, that is when everyone started to notice how extreme her mukbang videos were. How do you cook it while well, he's alive? I'm really sad for him. Let's remember that an octopus is almost as intelligent as a human and can even develop friendships with humans. The way she is treating the poor thing is inhumane and cruel. If you're gonna eat it, please make its death painless and treat it with respect. I knew I wasn't crazy for finding these videos weird, so y'all best not try and cancel me for dragging this girl. And like I said before, most people who saw her videos were definitely aware that the way she eats octopus as a Korean woman is just the same as how I would eat a beef burger being from America. Although, a ton of people were also horrified just by how she treated the poor animals before they were eaten. So Young isn't actually the only channel that makes mukbang videos while also being controversial. I'm sure y'all already have an idea about where this could be leading to. Yep, you guessed it. In this video, I'm also going to be talking about Nikocado Avocado. So if y'all don't remember, but I actually made a video on Nikocado what feels like more years ago than the vegan teacher has been alive. But since then, a lot has been going on with him. So we're going to be taking a look at what's been going on with his channel. Right. Basically, if y'all don't have a single clue who this guy is, first off, you must have been living under a rock since he has almost 3 million subscribers on his main channel and also nearly another million on his side channel. So yeah. Nikocado is big. Nikocado started his channel way back in 2014 and he is still making mukbang videos. But the stuff he was eating was a lot more, shall we say, not this? 
Y'all, maybe I'm colorblind, but I'm pretty sure noodles aren't supposed to be blue. So you may be wondering what led Nikocado down this path. Well, it all started when his parrot sadly passed away. And a lot of people recognize this as the moment that Nikocado had his dramatic change. If the parrot didn't die, he wouldn't have to be the way that he is today. His parrot's death, the events that happened in this video, are the reasons that sent him into a deep depression, gaining more and more weight every day. It's really sad. Since this point, Nikocado has gotten super weird, and now in his videos, you can mostly expect half of it just being him making a mess, shouting at his husband, and having a complete mental breakdown on camera. And that's not all, you guys. It's now at the point where people are seriously worried for his health. Because about a month ago, Nikocado uploaded to his second channel to explain that he was having some really bad health issues. Nikocado said that he had broken his ribs. Y'all may be thinking, how did he manage to break his ribs? Well, basically because of the insane food that he was eating in his mukbang videos, his chest became super heavy. And when he coughed, his ribs basically decided they had enough and cracked. After all of this, Nikocado started posting videos from his bedroom, and apparently, you guys, Nikocado is now stuck in his bed and wasn't even able to move. However, the problem was that Nikocado's whole brand has become making the videos that landed him being stuck in his bed. So, somehow, even though his health was not looking the best, Nikocado kept making his crazy mukbang videos, titling them My New Diet as a Disabled Person. Don't let Miss Katie hear this, but after watching these videos, being a vegan doesn't even sound that bad anymore. Anyways, Nikocado did not receive the sympathy he was after. In fact, you guys, he ended up getting a ton of people angry. You keep eating junk food despite being so bad and sick. Man, take care. And it's not hate, it's for your good. Goodbye. No one actually cares. You've caused this on yourself. I have brittle bones and have broke my ribs so many times and not even once did I moan or scream. You're so annoying and are not disabled. If you think you are, then it's your own fault for eating shit and being so damn unhealthy. I don't get how people could eat so much in just one period of time. No hate though. So as y'all can see, Nikocado is now facing a huge problem because his only income is from him making these videos eating unhealthy foods, but it's also making his health just get worse and worse. And you guys, I want to say that I don't have any issue with mukbang channels as a whole. I actually think that mukbang videos can be relaxed and kind of therapeutic to some people. But then there comes the extreme mukbang channels, like So Young, for example, is literally fighting and torturing live animals, even though I get that animals have to be killed before they're eaten. So Young doesn't make it quick at all. It makes the whole process really long for no reason, apart from getting more and more views. And Nick Akato has made an entire career out of destroying his health for the sake of views, to the point that now he can't even leave his bed. In fact, people are even getting bored of his insane videos, so now he spends most of the time fighting and shouting with his husband. I guess YouTube is just happy to sit and watch because absolutely nothing is being done about these mukbang channels that are taking it to far. Anyways, y'all, what do you think about these mukbang channels? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you so much.